But you know about perfect dose. I'll forever love you, I just had to let you know. I'll forever love you, I just had to let you know. What it do, what it do? It's 903 Boxing. I'm your host, Charles J. Say, man, uh, by the way, this ain't got nothing to do with no motherfucking boxing. Uh, gotta get back to my roots. Uh, yeah, this is a public service announcement. Um, if you don't know, if you ain't been following me long, uh, I got a lot of series, a lot of different series. I got the This Is Why Idols Become Rival series, Pimp C is the Real King of the South series, Reparation series. Uh, a lot of goddamn different series, uh, but I also got another one called East Texas series, uh, by the way, I am from East Texas, born and raised, uh, this is part five, um, gotta address you motherfuckers, um, this is a public service announcement, and, uh, just want you motherfuckers to know that this might be my last one, I don't know, cause, uh, I damn near want to give up on y'all. I almost want to denounce my uh, membership, my East Texas membership. I almost want to, yeah, I want to join the city boys. Yeah, I want to be a city boy. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, you motherfuckers, I, I just don't know. I don't know what it's going to take. East Texas, y'all disappointed me. Um, we was once the most family orientated, uh, uh, part of the uh, country Yeah East Texas was once the most Family orientated The most southern Yeah when you talk about that southern hospitality And you talk And when you talk about cooking Yeah when you talk about good cooking When you talk about I'm talking about sitting on the porch Yeah I'm talking about kids outside playing Yeah that type of shit And a lot of family A lot of barbecuing A lot of goddamn fish fry Yeah a lot of cakes and pies and shit Yeah when you think of East Texas That's what we used to think about Uh, I chose this cover because this is what East Texas is. Uh, yeah, that's a brother, and he's hitting that. Yeah, he hitting that uh, amphetamines, uh, also known as ice cream, uh, bluebell. You can call it whatever you want, but that shit is taking over. It's, it's taking over East Texas. Um, used to be the white boys. Uh, yeah, that was their shit. But yeah, it's a lot of black folks. Uh, they own that shit and. It, it done fucked up our whole community. Uh, we act different now. We up all times of the night. We do weird shit. Um, we be all in the woods with white folks uh, at all times of night. Uh, doing strange shit. Uh, yeah, a lot of weird shit we do now. Uh, we once, uh, <laughs> you know, we once um, acted like men. Um East Texas, yeah, we beat on our women. Um, we do a lot of shit. We don't love our kids no more. You know, I just... I, that's why I say, you know, East Texas, I got a solution for you motherfuckers. You motherfuckers want to... You want to run dope like the city boys do. You want to... Yeah, you want to live that life. And you motherfuckers dangerous. You want to... You motherfuckers thank you. Yeah, you want to be like... Yeah, y'all think y'all some city. So, I suggest all you motherfuckers... Leave East Texas to these white folks and Mexicans. Let them have it. Yeah, because they... the Yeah, the white folks, they got plenty of Mexican workers. Uh, They really don't need us. Yeah, we can go on, go to the city. Yeah, bring your mouth, bring your pipes, bring your bomb, bring all that dope smoking shit, and bring all that goddamn, bring them goddamn uh, needles and shit. Yeah, take that shit to Bunton or something. Yeah, bring y'all tough ass to Bunton. Yeah, try to do that. Try to take over Bunton. <laughs> yeah, go try to take over West Dallas or some shit. Yeah, do some tough shit like that. Because you motherfuckers are very dangerous. But like I said, uh, downtown Tyler, downtown Marshall, uh, downtown Longview is 
Boy, those some of the safest places you can ever be in your life. But now nah, our neighborhoods are dangerous. And I don't respect you motherfuckers. And like I said, the black family has fallen. We do shit just, we do shit just, you know, it, it's like a habit. You know, family gatherings now, that shit like a, we do that shit. It, it, we do it just to do it. Yeah, because it look funny if we don't come. Uh, we don't be excited to see each other. We be more excited about the food than we is about seeing each other. Uh, the love is gone. Uh, yeah, I'm like BB King. The thrill is gone. Uh, black folks, I, I, you know, East Texas. I'm gonna tell you something. I miss. Yeah, I miss when Mama used to send me down the street and I could borrow some butter and sugar and some milk. Nah, you can't do that shit no more. Nah, you can't do that shit. And you can't send your kids to the corner store no more. Nah, you can't do that. This shit is too dangerous. One of the milk heads might snatch your uh, child up and try to sell them for $40 worth of milk uh, to the nearest dope dealer. And, you know, it's we, you know, black folks in East Texas, you motherfuckers have become some of the most jealous. That's why I ain't got no friends. Now, not in East Texas. I don't fuck with you motherfuckers. You motherfuckers are too jealous hearted. Yeah, if you got a pretty woman, you know, it's just you motherfuckers just, y'all compete too much, bro. You motherfuckers in too much competition and you scared of white and you, let me tell you something. You motherfuckers love white folks more than they love themselves. You motherfuckers love white folks and you're very passive. Uh, yeah, when, you know, it's a lot of shit done happened that we should have told this mother, we should have been done tow up East Texas because it ain't nothing but a white folks. This is a white, uh, <laughs> East Texas is a white resort. Yeah, for rich white folks. Yeah, after you done, yeah, for rich, uh, retired, uh, police chiefs and shit. After you done fucked up with black folks your whole life and, yeah, done separated families and shit. This the place you come relax. And you know, uh, white folks got it too good in East Texas, uh, black folks. And we either gonna have to stir up some shit. Or uh, we just need to leave, bro. Just leave them to this shit. Leave these rich ass white. Let them have it. Let them have that dope, bro. Let them have that meth. Let them have these meth labs. Let them have that shit because you dumb motherfuckers. You know, if you get caught with four gram, they're going to give you 40 years, bro. They're going to give you 40 years for four gram. You motherfuckers are stupid. And you're riding a car with a white girl and you're selling meth. You motherfuckers are some of the stupidest motherfucking drug dealers I've ever seen in my life. Uh, and you do a lot of telling. Uh, you are the, some of the most telling motherfuckers I've ever seen. Uh, you know, it, I, I, I just don't know what's next for you. That's why I say, uh, all you telling tough gun toting motherfuckers, try to go take over Bunton. Yeah, migrate to Bunton. Yeah, go to Acres Home, try to take over there and see what happened for you. And you motherfuckers gonna find out real quick. We ain't as city as we thought we was. Now nah, we need to get back to, uh, loving each other and being, yeah, Bobby, have more barbecues and shit and do shit like that and, uh, be more family orientated. Yeah, let's make it safe for the kids to walk to the corner store and get something for grandma. And, and, and he ain't got to worry about being snatched up or, or being hit with a straight bullet. Because East Texas is too small for all these goddamn guns we got. We doing too much goddamn shooting. Uh, and another thing, that gang banging shit in East Texas, that shit was never for us, bro. That shit was, that's some city shit, bro. That shit was never for us. We too country for that shit, bro. We too country. Uh, like I said, we just want to... I don't know. Like I said, we trying to be too city. Uh, that shit ain't for us, bro. Uh, black families. By the way, speaking of black family, yeah, let me speak about my family. Let me address you motherfuckers. Yeah, because I've always considered myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm like the black sheep on both sides. Um, I was a very troubled teenager. Uh, I got a lot of trouble early. Yeah, and I was judged for it. Yeah, my family showed me tough love. And I got love for y'all and, and much love to my family. And I love my family, both sides of my family. But, yeah, y'all showed me a lot of tough love. And, yeah, it's a lot of pain come from my family over the years. But um, uh, also, you know, my pop's funeral was about two years ago. He passed the COVID, you know. And I wasn't even allowed to sing in my pops. Because uh, I'm the only person that can sing on both sides of my family. Yeah, I thought I'd throw that out there, too. Yeah, I'm the only singer. And, yeah, some shit like that. And I sing it all. The, yeah, but I wanted to sing at my pops' funeral. 
And I wasn't allowed to. And you know, by the way, that motherfucker y'all had singing at the funeral, that motherfucker could not sing. And you know, I always used to sing that song, I won't complain. My pops used to love to hear me sing it. That motherfucker sounded like a white Frenchman. Uh, I've had some good days. Yeah, that soft, it was no sauce to it. Yeah, I almost walked out the goddamn funeral when I saw this dusty, uh, dry Jerry Curl having motherfucker trying to sing, I won't complain. When it had no goddamn sauce to it, y'all know I got the goddamn sauce, and you did give me the goddamn microphone to sing in my pops' funeral. So yeah, that's some shit that I always kind of fucked with me. So yeah, uh, black families, um, we gotta love one another. We gotta love one another. We gotta stop all this jealousy. I've never seen. I'm gonna tell you something about Easter. I've never seen brothers hate brothers. So I'm talking about real brothers hate the other brother and go to his girl and try to tell her yeah he fucking around. Yeah, soft ass shit. brothers in competition with brothers and weird shit like that. And I, I just wish we changed that shit. So East Texas, this is my final. Uh, yeah, this is my final. Uh. Uh, engagement with you motherfuckers I've spoke out uh, Maybe we can change it Maybe we can get back country You know I miss being a country boy I'm tired of that city life living Cause we trying to live like the city We gotta get back country Yeah and eating watermelon and shit And, and eating uh, neck bones and shit And collard greens and all that type of shit Yeah let's get back to that country shit This is 903 Boston I am your host Charles J With that I'm out